I'm not guys. I'm a misconception now. I'm now about the. I'm a commitment or shadow. Which they don't wanna be jailed, ladies. Mm. They don't wanna. They don't wanna be controlled. Which, which at this time, we are this time, we are this time. They don't like that. So yes, in this instance, I'm to basically say not to commit, fully commit on on our on the relationship that they are currently into because they are not ready. So as in the final as women we should take into consideration like we are giving them hard time sometimes not to 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 live their lives. So that's what I can say currently. So my you have a question. You have something, yeah, something to add. Mm. Another thing is like um like for instance like when you when you are in high school mm. uh you're with your guys and blah 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 and now maybe for like let's say 10 years mm. you see like with the guys and you doing whatever you're doing mm. and now there is this person now who's coming into your life mm -hmm. and now all these 10 to 15 years has to just like cut like that mm. so that's what women always want you see as like mr n said like this thing is a process mm. you can't get someone who was with his guys doing whatever they are doing and then you say now okay you know what like cut now mm. because, because now i'm here mm. yeah, you see so you you cannot really do that you see so but what i think is should be done is to sit down and communicate with mm. okay like right now yeah. there is a this thing what we call a relationship mm. so how about we maybe try to eliminate one by one one by one one by one and yeah. until we reach to where we both we think we would okay like now we are, uh, we, we are ready mm. you see rather than like you just wanna you get this person you want him to live the kind of life that you want mm. you yeah. see so then that's where the problem is i think like also it's, it goes in both ways as well because okay. guys as well are like that there are guys who are like that who say like, okay mm. you are like this so then live the life that i want mm. you see of which is like i think i think he understand him the most time yeah. most of the time that should go be in front, in mm. front. which means it's true but see you can never change a person don't try so hard. Who will change himself or herself? Mm. Because even guys, they do that. So, give someone a chance and then let it, let the, <clears throat> the relationship flow. Okay, guys. Another thing that I need to tell you is, please do not forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. This is a hot topic, and <laughs> let us engage. Both ladies and gents, let us talk about these issues on our comment down on our comment section down below. So we are moving on to our next question. Can you encourage young men to commit at their early ages, like at their thirties, twenties, like to find someone? Would see this is the person that I want to start my life with. Can you encourage them to? Uh, on my side, I think that's a good question. But then um, again, uh, if you if you look at the world how it is right now, mm -hmm. I mean we are really like have to just go back to our 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 our, our culture and our rules and and whatnot what mm -hmm. because of the diseases that are there and uh, like to stick with one partner. I mean definitely. Uh, it's the thing that like young men should be like starting to look at right now because I mean as I've uh, said like I mean there are so many diseases and, and all that so to stick to, yeah, to one partner yeah to stick with one partner and then start at the early age just to avoid like those having too many baby mamas and and all that so I mean and then like there should be also a guidance. Yeah, you see, from 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 the parents as well. Mm -hmm. You see, I think the way maybe it was done at the early uh, early stages, whereby uh, parents were involved, unlike now, 
Mm -hmm. I think that was the that was the the, 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 the good way, sure. if I may if I may if I may say. But then now it looks like our parents they have like given us the long road. Mm -hmm. Which is born now, Yeah, mm -hmm. and then I don't want him to be in his life or her life, like, you know. Of whereas, like at the at, at the end of the day, as a parent, you will be needed when this person is having uh, problems in terms of like those uh, STDs or HIV. HIV. Uh -huh. So you will be needed to advise, and, and, and you see. So mm -hmm. we might as well just like. Uh, encourage them like to bring their boyfriend home or you know, introduce them. <laughs> so yeah. they really, really bring yeah. boyfriend yeah. home. Yeah. So, 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 so that we can know yeah, so that we know it's a big one. one. It's a big one. I mean, and, mm. Mm -hmm. But that's a topic for another day. We'll talk about it when we are talking about parenting teenagers <laughs> in this new age. Yeah. So we have a date again, right? We'll talk about parenting teenagers in this current age so when um mr n yeah Mina. would you encourage young men to do that yeah i would but uh as this is zulu says in lela mm -hmm. so like mr s has indicated as well parents should play that role in terms of giving proper guidance especially boys mm -hmm. boys they need proper guidance in terms of when they reach that stage of maturity, we need to talk as man to man mm -hmm. so that we can give them a, a clear direction in terms of how to handle or to handle themselves when they start feeling that they are having feelings for women, this and that. It's a topic and it's a, a thing that no one really uh, feels comfortable as a parent to talk about. But mm -hmm. then the issue is when things start happen, we are quickly to jump and say, and shout at them to say, ah, this is, yeah, this, this, this is wrong what you did. By that time, it may be too late. Yeah. So, and encouraging young people to commit at a younger age, it, it can be good or bad. It can be good as part of the diseases, as, been, as it has been mentioned before, that we need to make sure that we stick to our partner and making sure that we don't do things that will bring diseases into our house. Mm -hmm. But then on the bad side, I think, uh, is that when one is not ready, and then that person gets to be pushed into committing in the relationship that uh, that particular person is not even ready for you or not, you know, it becomes mm -hmm. a problem because that person can, be, can leave at any time. Mm -hmm. and. What, what damage that would have done there. Mm. It could be difficult for the lady as well. It could be difficult for whatever that they've built. They've built yeah. Because that it, hasn't, it, it doesn't have a, a solid foundation. Because maybe a young boy was just living his life. In Lela, it was all about Pambi. Okay. Which means, young guys, please do commit. For the sake of your health, for the sake of... Um, knowing where you belong because the more you commit to a girl is the more the girl will commit back to you because you are the one who makes the first steps to us and <laughs> a joke would say it's hard to find a partner when you are getting older so rather find someone while you're still young and grow with that person so that you learn each other's personalities and what how to talk to one another and all of that so that's my take on this taking from the two points of uh, and then we have question number four when do you realize that you have found the one when it's been two two months sejola has been four months three years ten years we are still in the jolly process when do guys realize, Uti, really, really, I found the one? Uh, Mr. N. For me, it's a difficult one mm -hmm. to answer because at times uh, there are things as a, as a man that you, you sometimes you look for in a particular lady to say I can commit with this lady or to tell if this is the right lady for my life. Mm 
mm -hmm. time partner. You know, it takes a lot of things. Smaller you know, things that happens during a relationship. Smaller you know, things that happen uh, when you are not around and when you are around. The manner in which you you carry yourself or you handle yourself when I'm with you. Mm -hmm. Things that you do, things that you say as well. Mm -hmm. Whenever I'm wrong, whenever I'm right. I think those are the collective things that can actually give you an indication. But to say definitely this is the right person, it's a process. Again, okay. you can't really say over three years. But I saw somewhere mm. someone was saying that um, ladies don't be fooled. Guys know the person they're going to marry the first or the second day they saw them. Like their hearts connect, their mind connect. Like they know, it's okay, this is my wife. We soon as I like it for ten years, when but if you guys include any other people, I could say this is my wife from the word go, from the day that you guys met, you are not the wife, and it's not going to happen. We soon as I for ten years, ni 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 jola, and then the word go, after when I know for a month or two, within six months, he's paying lobola for that girl. Is that true? No, that's true. That's true. That's true. It depends, as um, uh, my brother just said. Mm. It depends. For me, it, it depends on how, what, what you are looking for as a man first. Mm -hmm. You see, because you have to know like what you are looking for mm -hmm. from a woman, you know. Not just like sex, but I mean like uh, if you are deciding to marry that person. You have to have like your... Sex is not the key. Too. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Put this, put this side, Don't be deceived, girls. No. Don't be deceived, ladies. Sebeshi, you know, sex is not the key uh -uh. to marriage. Don't say Sebeshi. Oh, <laughs> you are opposed to that. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> okay, sorry, business. Continue. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, um, it's, it, it starts with the guy knowing what he wants. Yeah. And then, uh, and then uh, sticking to what he, he wants. You see, like from his the values that he has yes, made yeah. for the yeah. person that I'm for life. Yeah, so then yeah, and then and then again for a woman to come and uh Ashanganis a compliment mm. those needs Zake. And then that's when you realize okay, this woman, although maybe I'm not ready, but this yeah. woman we can live with, mm -hmm. you know, because like even when um uh they say maybe I'm in in uh, a putain or something like that, mm. then how she handles that, mm. you see, how she handles the problem, mm. you see, like that we are facing at that time, is she like a person who, like, just want to bend down the yeah, house, bend or... down the house, yeah. or <laughs> go home, like, leave you, and all those stuff? When someone mm. is like that, then you definitely see who's okay, like this person, she's not definitely the person that I'm looking oh, for. Okay. Because, but Mr. S, that sometimes is mm. is very important, mm. ne? To make sure that you remind them, Utpela, you still have a home. Mm. Yeah, they, you can still pack your things and go back home. Yeah, that again gives you space to think, mm -hmm. what exactly do you want? Yes, yes, yeah. But then again, I think it it starts whereby you have to talk about it. Yeah, you see, yeah. you have to talk about it just. Rather than like just taking your clothes and yeah, yeah, yeah so, I mean, it doesn't solve the problem. It doesn't yeah. solve the problem. It doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't solve the problem. Otherwise, me and I as a guy, I'll be thinking, okay, hey, one day I'll be like uh, cooking and washing for the kids or something like that. Mm. So, of which is like, uh, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but then I mean, see, we have to. You need help. Yeah, we need help. Like mm. in another mm. end, season and there and there. Yeah. So. Those are the things, like, uh, you know, those are the things that yeah, it's a difficult one. It's a difficult Mr. S, can you, can you elaborate on the sex topic? Uh, I think Do you think sex can also define, Uguti, this is my kind of woman? I, I think it's, that is a broad topic on its own. Mm. When you talk about sex in a Please relationship. Please generalize. Yeah. So, but I'll, I'll in this just... context of when do you realize that you have found the one? In terms of sex? I, I, I would say maybe uh, so that I won't be that long. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, you need to be Sex, careful. sex for me and for <laughs> our other brothers out there. Mm. 
they give a kind of indication of whether <clears throat> you stay, even though you don't know for how long, or you go. Hmm. Second, yeah, first gotcha. day or second day. Like Umutwasi Makaya right now, ne, who grew up and been told duty to make ikaya ikaya, you need to find it. and all that. Are you talking about that? Okay. You said I must indicate on the sex part. I've tried to even elaborate on other stuff that mm. it, it, it's a collective of a lot of things and it's a process to mm -hmm. actually find that particular spot to say definitely this is the person yeah. but within this first day or second day or even a month you can't even tell because that person you don't even know that particular person hence I said earlier on I was obtaining Sasaki. so for me and other brothers out there we really need to taste the cookie and the cookie will tell you whether I stay or I go you need to have some time share some time with that particular person why waste I'm someone here. else's time no, no, and no. resources if you are not there to stay that is another misconception that you guys will have, really have to talk about